G'day, g'day, it's Thomas's cat here. One of them. Yes, meow. Now, regarding this, I've noticed that when the uh, the detent is in, this, that um, even when it's in uh, miss mode, I'm getting a lot of wiggle over here. I've also noticed that this um, spring is quite strong and that the spring here is very strong. So we've got those two springs together both acting against the um, the little ball bearing rider and then against the cam. So that's a lot of uh, strain against that cam wheel that doesn't necessarily need to be there. Um, I've noted that some really quite good instructions have appeared on Engine DIY for this. I'll put the link down below. And that lets us to see, because this is a ready to run, I didn't build it, but if you have the kit version, those instructions are good. Even if you have the ready to run, it shows you how this was assembled, because you can't take this off to take this out. This rod unscrews. I want to take that out and get this working a bit better. Right, I'm going to push this in when I can. So that's... Ignition, that's the valve just opening there. The valve is just opening there. That's too far. That lift there. So having it lift a long way off that um, step, rather than just a tiny bit off that step, if that was a bit bigger, that brass bit, or the step was a bit closer, um, that helps it to breathe better through the mist cycle. Uh, this spring I want to replace with a looser one, so I'm not getting so much push against this wheel. And the push against that wheel can, um, can wear the bearing there. quite long I mean it was it's not a very strong spring but it was very compressed so we're gonna look at my spring collection and get something a bit um, a bit better I want to get a bit more like what is it 0.8 millimeter onto this step That's not good. Okay, so I've got that um, pin turned so that it's got its full width back. Um, it's been uh, ground and filed so that it's nice and smooth. Now I would note that this um, part is aluminium, so that 
is going to wear. I mean, I don't know how fast it's going to wear, but it's going to wear. So I'm going to put something on here, my new piece of step. I found some point, um, gee, what is it? Let's have a look. 0.75 millimetre, and I needed 0.8, so that's going to be perfect. Um, we are going to cut a step out of a corner of this. Okay, we have our new step. Yeah, maybe. We're just going to... Um, so that's just super glued on there because it's not going to be a hot part. We just need to tidy that up a bit once it's set. Tidy the edges. Okay, here we go. Uh, loosened spring. Bored out the hole, the guide hole for this by 0.2 millimeters extra from 3 to 3.2. That now wiggles very, very slightly, but the point is it's not sticking and it was sticking and that means that a weak spring wasn't working when it should have. Um, got that reorientated and the new step. Let's see how it goes. So the new step is like that. It's very, very close there. That should work. The spring is loosened next to that. The guide is loosened. Well, it's reassembled and I'm just seeing how that's going. Now, the whole point of what I did with the step was to get this so that it hardly wiggles when it's in the mist. That's good. That means we don't get much slowdown because of uh, cam pressure over here. That step's working fine. The spring's working fine. Now, that um, pin that I turned around the right way... This pin that I worked turned around the right way, that's causing it to run a bit slower. So actually, you know what? It's steadying. And that's actually quite a nice um, speed. I'll leave it at that speed and let it warm up. We'll see what happens. Right, let's just change the spring. Back on. Interesting. What's going on there? Oh, too um, too rich for that speed. Uh, okay, I'll lean it out a bit. There we go, quarter of a turn. And that's pretty nice. Here's our new step working. Our looser spring. Because of the new step, this is hardly moving in the um, in the mist, which is what I like. This is my steady slow speed, but I'm still in two minds about that. Closing off the choke a bit to make sure the fuel gets uh, enough suction to get it in there. We're just um, testing whether this is quiet enough for cats now.
You silly cat. Sorry? You think he's silly? He is, isn't he? Why don't you guys come and watch this?